Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. If you're a new listener, welcome. If you're a veteran, welcome back. Thanks for uh, coming back and listening to the uh, episodes. Uh, today, we have a topic called Lover and, and Then. And Then. Killer. killer in that order. It's very important. Right. <laughs> the order has to be important. Yeah. The order has to be important. Yeah, before we start recording this, uh, Gabor was saying, do you want to use the word, use the word killer? And, uh, you know, it's over-dramatizing it. Yeah. Is that the word? Yeah. And uh, for effect, right? Yeah. Because uh, it's a really important part of the dog training, dog's protection. Yeah. I learned this from late Charles Sharkady, he always said that. First, you got to teach the dog, you got to make the dog to be a lover and only then can make it killer. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, it's really important, especially when you train in defense, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about. Yeah, in prey, it doesn't really matter. The dog is lover all the way in prey, right? Yeah. Or, well, somebody's going to tell me it's not true, but whatever. I'm not talking about prey. Yeah. Uh, based dog training. I'm talking about defense-based dog training. And um, it's it's all about default, right? You have you have you have a genetic default, which is a strong de this strong as default. You cannot override that. You can only modify it. And, uh, and then you have the training default, and this is a default, those are the default I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And that def what does that mean? That what the dog learns first, like the most, does the best, and reverts to when under stress. Okay? That's really important. And that, you know, that's the default. Yeah. And, uh, and default, once the dog establishes, it, it's basically there forever. Mm-hmm. People say, well, so you're telling me that I cannot change the dog? Yes, you can. There are ways to do it, but it's best if, you know, like through parallel dog training, but that default is still going to be there. Yeah. Right? And and so <clears throat> when you have a um, puppy, you first want to make them to be happy-go-lucky, friendly dogs because you want the default to be happy-go-lucky, friendly dog, yeah. a personal protection dog. Yeah. Now, if you are gonna, if you are, uh, you know, uh, army ranger kicking door in Fallujah, you know, Iraq, yeah, it's not that important. That's different. It's military dogs. I'm talking about police dogs, and I'm talking about family protection dogs, yeah, or personal protection dogs. Yeah. In in those cases, is important that the dog has default to be friendly. Okay, and, and people disagree with me, and that's fine. But I can on command to flip that dog into being unfriendly on command. So, so I want to start with friendly dog, and on command I teach the dog to be unfriendly, so called killer. It's, you know, that's what you know, and uh, and 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 so that when the fight is over, dog goes back to be friendly again. Yeah, you know. That way you have a safe dog for family protection or personal protection you can take in public and all that. If you would have a default that the dog is killer, you can never make them lover yeah. at first. Uh, you know, if the, the way around it doesn't... It doesn't work, work yeah. right? Because then you walk in a public with dog who will kill everybody yeah. because that's his default. Yeah. Now you can control the dog like that, okay? But... Control means he still wants to do that, except he's not doing it because you're telling him not to do it. The diffuse versus control thing. Yeah, there's a diffuse versus that, yeah. control. Yeah. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, it, it's it's a tedious thing. You know, I mean, you don't want to have a dog like that unless, you know, you are living somewhere in a remote area growing marijuana. Even that's legal now, so... There goes that. <laughs> there goes that. <laughs> there goes that example. Um, just or or you have a you know Colombian cartels after you. Yeah, 
But but uh, what was that? The gangster dog in the, <coughs> in the check that was the he ended up uh, work. Was it a? Well, yeah, it was a gangster dog. It was Ger you mean you mean Gero, right? Yeah, he yeah. was. Uh, what was it? A uh, like a uh, truck parts or something? What was the 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 facility? He yeah, was he in? was guarding. You know, they were stealing. Yeah, equipment. Yeah, all the time. So, yeah, so he was. You know, uh, in killer mode all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Except there's this master. You know? I like the now there's 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 purpose yeah. for dogs like that, yeah. but you know Especially. they're not. People say, "Oh, that's what I want. I want my dog, you know, yeah, to you be always want, in killer mode." You don't no, that. you don't, man, because then you cannot take the dog with you in public. And if you don't have that dog with you in public, how is he gonna protect you? Yeah. Or you have a barbecue party. Yeah. Right. And and you have a dog who wanna kill everybody. <laughs> but you gotta put him up, and then your yeah. neighbor gets drunk and wanna hurt you, and you have no dog. Yeah. Or or you have a plumber coming and he wanna rape you if, if you are a woman. Yeah. And you have to put the dog up because yeah. the dog was a killer, right? Yeah. You know. Exactly. You know, and there's so many different things scenarios you know that yeah. nothing is 100 percent, but generally speaking you want to have a well-trained dog who is by default lover can be around people but yeah. if you tell him he turns into a killer so to speak yeah you know and it could be when you say lover also he's just neutral like he doesn't care like doesn't have to be yeah, a lover. But, yeah. you know no you yeah. don't want to like a golden yeah. retriever yeah. lick you to death all the time yeah i think the best dog is neutral neutral yeah. but he's still gotta be friendly in order to be yeah. neutral yeah Yeah. 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 It doesn't mean he's out of control liquor. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That'll be the next podcast episode <laughs> title. The out of control the out of control liquor. <laughs> actually, that's a pretty big problem. Man. Well, it is, yeah. Actually, maybe uh, we could do maybe we should do actually. Yeah, I, I, except I don't know really what much of what to do about it. <laughs> you know, it's so funny. Electric the, shock collar or something. Yeah. I mean, you know, people look at you, Hans, it's like you have the answer for every, like everything about dogs. And <laughs> there's things that you you still ponder on that you're like. Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know all the time. I, I even go on internet and Facebook and, and listen to people's or YouTube and, and hoping yeah. that I'm uh, yeah. that I'm going to find something which I don't know. And sometimes I do. But yeah. generally speaking, it's Some a disappointment. That, yeah. You know, there's nothing much. You know, new. Yeah. But, you know, people say, well, you are old school. I say, yep. If it worked for 2,000 years, it'll still work now. Yeah. That's what I'm all about. Yeah. You know? I figure, like, a, the the tea, like, chi uh, the chi in Chinese culture, they've been drinking tea for three for thousands of years. Yeah. And it's got a medicinal purpose to right. it, too. It works. I'm like, well, if they've been drinking it that long, they figured something it's out. Probably it's works, something, right? It's got to work. I mean, so there's truth in it. Yeah, so American that, Medical Association, of course, oh, yeah. tell you that it's oh, not yeah. true. Yeah, whatever. So like, um, we're, okay. What were we talking about? <laughs> we're talking about Tina. First lover and then killer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you know, when you have the puppy or so, always, or young dog, yeah. always make sure this position that you start make them really friendly at first. Yeah. You know, and only then make them unfriendly. There is no contradiction. Yeah. You know, people think, well, I want my dog to be real badass. Hey, you can make them badass. That's no problem. Even so they're neutral or friendly. Yeah. As a as a default, you know. Yeah. You know, um, if you want a junkyard dog, well then you don't want that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But um, most people wouldn't Right, the need need for it, whatever. Right, yeah. as you're stating all the all the things that would come with that, you don't want that. I mean, you, you want a dog that. Right, <laughs> <laughs> I just flicked his toothpick. <laughs> toothpick came across the table, um, but uh, which makes sense. I mean, that's what most people you want. You I got the dream dog like thing, right? Like you want to. Yeah, you want to have a friendly dog. Yeah. People come and he's friendly and they'll start yeah. messing with you, give the dog command and yeah. they'll go in action. But at the same time, there's nothing wrong with the uh, the bark when somebody comes to the door thing, right? Like if they're alert, like, so don't think that you want a dog that's so neutral that doesn't even bark, right? So no, there's no, that. No, no, yeah, no. But I know I you don't. Yeah. Uh, this is about training. Yeah, yeah. This is first you, you, you should not 
you should first make sure the dog is friendly before you start teaching Doing. him to be unfriendly. Yeah. It's about how you, the succession of the training. Yeah. And I can teach him to be unfriendly when somebody knocks on the door. Yeah. Yeah. But first he got to be friendly. Yeah. Because when I come to the door yeah. and I look and there's Myrna with Walker bring me apple pie. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want my dog to mess her up. So I say, oh, it's just Myrna. It's okay. And dog go back yeah. to being default, being friendly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Or I see some hooded guy with mask, yeah. you know, and, you know, then I'd give him a command and I yeah. say, good boy, go kick his ass. Yeah. Of course, I probably would not do that. I probably would just get my own gun and yeah. shoot him through <laughs> the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hans always says, don't get overconfident just because you have a personal protection dog. You just got to yeah. train always for the worst case scenario, regardless how improbable. Yeah. You know. And try to avoid at best. If yeah, you can, try to avoid it and all that. Not, but wanna... just because it may never happen or extremely unlikely going to happen doesn't mean you should not train for that. Yeah. And when you talked about succession, and I don't want to drift, but that's what you talk about the sports. The whole sports thing too that you can have sports you can do whatever you want to do with the dog sure. but you should have your basic obedience down and 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 that's why out of defense first and then you can do whatever you want with the dog right so, yep so i don't want to drift but that's that's a okay. succession yeah of things so All right, friendly well. first and then need be you know killer yeah lover killer yeah. Lover first. Order. yeah 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 um i yeah. think that's it Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, what, what? No, I mean, at training, I see this because you have all types of dogs come. and, and uh, um, But I've seen Hans, definitely the, the ones that are just so friendly uh, and on command, they'll perform. Right. You know? right. I, I'd rather always have a dog that's friendly than the other way around, you know, just in anywhere I go, public or whatever. Right, at home. right. Easy to live you with. should be able to go with your dog anywhere. Yeah. And without worrying, the dog is going to mess somebody up. Yeah. Got to be done only on command. Yeah. In personal protection situation, as I said. Somebody says to me today on Facebook, as Murray faces, well, you know, if I have an area protection dog, meaning, you know, then I then the dog is not going to get command. That That's not what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's always... Situations you have or, a sport, or special you have law enforcement, you have area protection, you have family protection, you have estate protection. Yeah. You have military. Well, the military guy that said the one just get and then out, yeah. you know, but, but they had a special purpose for that right. dog. There was a, yeah, right. a specific purpose or something. Yeah, the dog them. stopped biting as soon as the automatically, as soon as the, the person, you know, was dead or uh, was in military, they yeah. shot him. So the dog. You know, and then he goes and searches the building somewhere else. Yeah, so, but that that's a special. That's a special purpose. purpose. That's not what we are talking about. Ninety-nine percent of yeah. people will not need 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 that. Yeah, that, I, I I I I say one thing. I know quite a bit about protection dogs, but I don't know that much about military protection dogs. That's completely different. Yeah, cup of tea. Yeah, I can kind of fake my way through it, but yeah. No, but foundationally, the, the, there's foundational principles that yeah, you teach. Yeah, of and course, so it's, it's true. But it's, but I'm yeah. talking about tactics, how, tactics to use, yeah. how to use that type of well, dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And if you have a specific tactics, you got trained the dog for those tactics. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That's any, anything else that? Uh, no. Love? I have nothing else to say. Okay. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. He's speechless. This is the <laughs> first time Hans is speechless. Hans is finally shut up. Okay. Hans can talk anymore. This is a historic, let's let's mark the time. <laughs> yeah, we'll time. At this point, at yeah. this place, on this date. date. Hans was speechless. <laughs> this, is, this is history, guys, yeah. if you're watching this episode. Yeah. Um, but, uh, all right. Well, if you want to, if you want to purchase, uh, videos on, on personal protection, it's a four part video video. There's four parts to the video series. Um, Hans has that, how to build a personal protection dog 
from start to finish. And and that one, if you buy the whole package, he actually gives you a discount sort of like a, if you buy it one at a time. This kind of, but also the support, like over the phone support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people when they, when you buy the yeah. the 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 bundle, as the bundle. I call it. Yeah. You can call me or yeah. Facebook me or message me and I, I will coach you through internet and you send me videos and I'll tell you, you know, what to do or not to do, what yeah. you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, yeah. uh, what you should do better, you yeah. know. So that's that's huge. Um, also, the obedience video, uh, Hans does not teach dogs in drive, meaning no cookies or no toys. So he has a video on that, which there's like 10 parts to that video inside of video and also it's it's i mean that's one of my more more most popular videos right uh there because there's a reason for that i mean people really need to understand how to teach yeah it's a it's a uh old school as they say but it's yeah. not old school it's just out of drive yeah out of drive no cookies or no toys yeah in drive it's, it's dogs look pretty but and and you need to do in drive when you do competition yeah but if you do Competition, I strongly urge you first train the dog out of drive. There we go again, succession. Again, yeah. succession, put yeah. the default out of drive succession. and yeah. then do in drive, yeah. not the other way around. Yeah, you'll have a much more reliable Because dog. you need to establish leadership position. Yeah. yeah. So that's a great video, um, how to feed puppies raw, art of war. I mean, they'll, we're adding more videos to it too. Um, so at the time of, of this recording, there might be other videos uh, added to it. We don't, we want to do one on, on search, search and rescue, rescue which yeah. could be <coughs> really important too. Um, so visit Alpine canine here. Here's a list. You see, see that list of those new videos. If you can, if you can yeah, I know you cannot read it, but <laughs> it's, what is it? 15, 17, 17 things. Yeah. Ideas. Uh, there's so many things with dog training. It seems like, um, uh, you know, there's always a video to help someone out with the specific issue they're they're dealing with. So there's, I mean, you've been and then there. we putting hopefully that membership. Yeah, we're gonna work on that. I mean, ultimately, maybe you guys you guys can chime in under the, under this video um, too. But we we might be putting out a or Hans will be teaching uh, inside a group, which I think is so important because Hans Hans teaches here Saturday Saturdays and but that's. You know, you have yeah, to Yeah, if you're in Nebraska or, yeah. or Australia. That's tough. And you have cl you have people literally all over the world. Right. I mean, literally. Yeah. Um, but if that, that I'm, I'm really excited. I hope it's, we are going to do that. Is the, the um, people will be able to ask any questions yeah. and, and there's going to be ready answer for you. Yeah. And there's, there's other parts in there too. That's kind of cool. Modern technology we're going to use, but uh, yeah, I mean, teaching is in any field, it's the most. I think any anyone, um, it's the biggest. I think it's the most important thing to give back to your to the to the world is teaching. It's so important. Um, doesn't matter what level you can be. The you know. I mean, obviously Hans is in a very high level of knowledge, and uh, sometimes people hog that they want to. They they hold on to the yeah. To they that. they think it's yeah. some kind of a secret, but it's actually the most beautiful thing you can do is to yeah, teach. Yeah, and it's not secret. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's all out there. What I teach is. Yeah. I mean, I have some different takes yeah. on it, yeah. but it's not secret, yeah. you know, it's been around. Yeah. And I came up and organized it different way or come yeah. up with a different <clears throat> idea, but in principle, hey, it's all prey or defense, yeah. targeting man or equipment. That's all it boils down to. Yeah. And Hans is a good way of, of simplifying sometimes these more complex things down, which is, I think. I am. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so I'm making it more difficult. No, no, <laughs> more complicated. simplify it. No, you simplify it. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah, right. you simplify the, the complex thing sometimes. Sometimes I feel I'm not. Well, <laughs> no, I think you, you simplify it fairly well. You know, like talk, like one of, one of them went on said about, oh, what was it? Uh, oh, the cookie training, basically, in drive training is like, imagine a space alien. If a space alien comes and you don't speak their language, but you hold out a hot dog <laughs> and then you want them to like sit. You here's a hot dog. If you sit, well, they'll they'll sit. Right? They want a hot dog. They right? want the hot dog. Yeah. Or you can learn their language, right, and right. communicate with them on a deeper level. <laughs> That's what Hans is trying to do, right, in his teaching. So, right, right. but I thought that was a good way, a good analogy. <laughs> you know, sometimes I get good ideas. Yeah. It. So, 
All right, guys. Okay, so yes, alpine canine real.com. It's real slow. Alpine canine real.com. I'm not saying this slowly because I don't think you are intelligent who's watching because Hot said I'm saying it too fast. So I get a <laughs> real.com. Well, it usually comes at the end of the show, so I try to wrap it up. But also, if you're looking for a puppy or a trained dog, Hans uh, imports these dogs from the Czech Republic through Jinnipo, who you've been working for 40. I'm or, founder of it. And by well, working, but yeah, he's actually he's actually Jinnipo. I mean, um, I'm the last. The, yeah. No, not last. Well, yeah, you're, yeah. So um, they have a great history. You can read about Jinnipo if you go to, um, but. Yeah, there is a video for sale of that. How did they do that? That's right. That's on there. Yeah. We just put that on that super. Yeah, that's an old video, man. Yeah. That was the beginning when yeah. we started. You know, Paul, how did they do that? That's, that's a historical the, document. Yeah. And should, Hans talks underneath it. It should yeah. be on a history channel. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good stuff. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, yeah. Um, yes. So if you're looking for a puppy or a trained dog, Hans is your man. So. We'll uh, thank you for listening and subscribe and share, please. Uh, we'll see you next time. Ahoy.